YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. I see y'all. I see you watching. Please look out. Look out for your boy. I'm trying to get, trying to get up to 200, 200 subscribers. My little measy. P hey, hey, I'm happy with my little 100 or so follows, though. 177 or something follows. Appreciate y'all. All right. This from JR Wisdom. She shot her, shot at her crush and instantly for instantly regretted it. So, decided to like shoot my shot and i asked a guy and he was so nice about it too i just i appreciated how honest he was about oh can i see her but i don't know he was like really attractive and i was like i'm gonna shoot my shot like you want me like you never know un until you actually go out there and like do it right i'm sorry so much it just felt like someone was staring me at me um, so he was really nice too. I loved his like response. I was like, "You're really handsome." Well, as soon as I seen him, I'm, I told him, "Like, you're really handsome, right?" Cool. And then I like ended up getting in my car because I was so nervous. And then I'm like, I had to literally talk myself, literally talk myself into going back to talk to him. I got in the car and I'm like, "Bitch," because I I don't know. I felt like maybe if I engaged, he would like you know like eventually like fucking just take the bait but i went back and i seen him and i got enough courage and i was like oh my gosh like would it be really weird if like i asked for your number and then he was like well i'm actually talking to someone and i was like oh my gosh you're so honest <laughs> like cause i feel like some guys like he just seemed like the guy you know even his response is like I wouldn't want to be with you because you, you just seem like a fucking honest ass person. And he just shook my hand and he was just so like chivalrous. He was like one of those like proud, strong black kings. And I don't know why. It, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I just feel like it hit me that like, and I don't want to say never, you know, <laughs> never is. I am like 25 and uh, like every fucking <laughs> I don't know I just feel like I'm not like cut out for like relationships <laughs> it's like I so stupid <laughs> I just thought like, I, I don't know <laughs> Why can't I find my soulmate or have like this amazing partner? <laughs> just it just feels like it'll always be this way, and I'm just like I don't know. I, the men that I do talk to, they ain't shit. <laughs> You know, they only want to be with you, like, for sexual reasons. And it's like, I just would want to have something with somebody that is, like, real. And I just feel like nothing is, like, really real anymore. I just, it, it just kind of sucks. I mean, I would do it again. <laughs> I, I would. I think me just you know doing it and like facing like a fear i don't know how guys do it like, it's so like scary approaching people that you don't know but i don't know i just guess i should be happy in general like i was fine without him i'd be fine with him and yeah <laughs> That's a very interesting clip from this young lady right here. She says she's 25, and she sees how it is, how nervous she was about shooting her shot. And I guess it's some of you guys consider it to be masculine for a woman to basically say what's up with a guy or whatever, but I think we're all human beings at the end of the day. I know you could say masculine energy is about hunting. Women, as far as relationships, they're more into relationships and cultivating relationships. But when it comes to dating, man, it's kudos to that dude he could have been lying too i don't know if i already said shout out to this sister for being natural but don't we all want that one person don't we all want our soulmate don't we all want that it's not just you baby 
why can't we always ask these questions? Why can't I be with this person? Why hasn't this person shown up? In a perfect world, I forgot the percentage of people who actually run into the person that they really want to be with and end up happily ever after. Congratulations to those people, but it's not. A lot of us encounter that in life. We're lucky if we do. That's why it's important to work on yourself. And a lot of times the person will show up. This guy, you said he's the type of guy you'd want to be with, but whoever's meant to be with you, they'll always find their way to you. You don't have to be pressed. A lot of women, I know they don't like this video and how it went, and they felt like she got rejected. Women get hit on, and she's not a ugly young lady. Women get approached all the time by guys, and she said something. She was honest. This is what I hear a lot of women say. The guys I talk to, they ain't ish. I had a conversation with a young lady the other night, and she said every guy that's asked her out on a date asked her to pick them up in a vehicle. They asked a woman out on a date, but they need a ride to the date. <laughs> and it's just strange to me. But women, you get approached by a lot more. And it, it, excuse me. You get approached. <laughs> Men don't get approached like that. So you have a lot more to sort through. As opposed to a man, a man can approach women and get rejected. And it's not like that with women. So you have it easier and even though women say oh it's not easy blah, blah, blah. not every woman that you talk to is going to say hello to you it's going to give you the time of day it's just one of those things women attractive women get constantly hit on so that's a different perspective of it but ladies i'm a firm believer small talk shoot your shot however you want to do it but most men who are aware small talk equals flirting or I, I want you to talk to me but let's go ahead and play this next clip let's go what? Wait for the next clip, though. Uh, <clears throat> I feel sad for it. You know, it sucks. But, like, she she sees, like, you know, what, what 99.999% of niggas go through. It, uh, that sucks for her. I hate, I hate she break it down. That's sad, though. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, hell, everybody wants they, they person. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I get it. It's just much more emotional for a female to get shot down, cause you know they, for 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 a woman to to uh put up that courage to shoot they shot and actually genuinely like shoot they shot and actually a number of stuff is a lot. So you know, uh, I can I can see why that would hurt, but uh, hell, niggas gotta learn that at an early age that the worst you can say is no she already you don't know her so like if she say no it ain't like your life changed because she said no your life gonna change if she say yes you know what i'm saying you gotta so once she learn once she pick up on that it'll be easier you know what i'm saying i i fully feel like women should shoot their shot way more than we than men because it everything would just be uh out in the open and honest instead of like people like playing these weird games with each other and stuff what's your like way to let somebody know that you're interested in them i just like glance over and stare at them but not too much just tastefully like eye contact long enough like you're the hottest guy but like see you later but also like that shit lame that shit never works bro by the way because uh somebody could be looking at you and you think that you oh it's okay to go over there and now it's probably not, or they probably looking at somebody next to you. So, bro, that shit's lame. So she should actually say something, though. It's like, I don't give a fuck about you. Right. So, like, you might catch me once staring at you, but, like, when you look over the next five times, I'm not looking. See? So you yeah. do a one glance over, and that's it. Yeah. By the way, guys, I'm single, so I'm just going to let you know how that's working for me. <laughs> I'll make eye contact with you, like, to the point where it's, like, I know you're staring at me, like, in a confident way. Yeah. Like, I'll be, like, no stress, like, I'm looking at you, but then th I won't look at you again. But, like, I eye contacted you enough that you're, like, okay. But I think Solid. if you want a guy to come up to you, you... See, she, she, the other girl, I like how she, she does, like, if she give, you keep looking and stuff, okay, that's a, that's a clear okay to, to, uh, you know, step, step in your zone. But her, her way? Hell no. Nah. have to do that. Yeah. Because you want to just kind of validate. Because she may be looking at you and she may like your shirt, but she not fuck with you. And then you go over there thinking, you know, you finna shoot your shot. And she be like, and it's just awkward then. Like, and then she not staring at you no more. Run right now. Don't, don't fall for that shit. That you're on the same page as yeah. them. So they don't feel like their ego is, 
eagle. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to feel like, you know, they might come up to you and they're going to get their ego bruised. Yeah. You have to I validate. Mean, you have to validate. Now, at first, you, you hear all this BS that women do. I, I do this. I look, but I don't look. If you happen to look at him until he catches your glance and you turn your head, oh, yeah, that's really going to mean that he wants to approach you at this point. Some dudes do, but women, See? they have the ball in their court where they can make these decisions. Ladies, just think about it at the end of the day, especially you women who are more attractive and always get approached. Ball's in your court. You can do stuff like this, like these two women are talking about. You can do that all day, and men will either will approach you or won't approach you, but one thing's for sure. I guess what I'm saying is that some women don't have to do much. They don't have to do much at all, as opposed to others have to do small talk. But one thing is, ladies, sitting at home, you can get bombarded on IG, whatever other social media platform there is. But Prince Charming isn't always going to end up on your doorstep. That's just my thoughts. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, think about these clips. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much blessings. The second video is kind of lame. Uh, but yeah, uh, like he said, like, comment, subscribe. Oh. I, for, I keep forgetting to say this in there. The original video is in the uh, description, by the way. And then, uh, yeah, go follow JR. He's pretty cool. He has a lot of dope content. You know what I'm saying? But like, comment, subscribe, my shit too, by the way.